Okay, so you are looking at structuring your 25 market, knowing it's so important. And you know the kind of question that's come up is just discussing one policy, one thing, whatever it might be. So remember how I talked about what I mean by thing in my previous video. Go and look at that if you don't understand. But for micro and macro, it could be discussed like one thing, i.e. You know, discuss whether consumption, rise of consumption will always increase economic growth, discuss whether sustained recovery will always lead to higher inflation, in micro discuss whether uh, abuse of monopoly power will always be to the harm of consumers, you know, that's kind of one thing. Or it could just be one policy, discuss whether uh, a fall in interest rates will always increase economic growth, discuss whether uh, indirect taxation is the best way of reducing consumption of sugary drinks, whatever. You've got one thing that you need to focus on in your 25 market and to discuss. How do you structure that kind of question? Well, that kind of question is really simple, guys. In your head, keep it simple. That's the best advice I can give you. Keep your life easy. Don't get confused. Don't get muddled. Keep life simple. This is your basic structure. You've got to do four things. Really, really simple. You start with your definitions. Define the key terms in the question. If there are key terms that aren't in the question, but that underpin pretty much everything you're talking about in the essay, like market failure, for example, then define that, right? So define all the key terms relevant, either in the question or that you're going to be focusing on in your essay. But a little brief introduction, you're looking at two, three lines max, briefly introducing what you're going to be talking about, what the key issues are. So depending on the question, a brief introduction just to show the examiner you know what the issue is and what the examiner wants you to focus on, right? Nice way to start the essay. The examiner will be looking for something like that. Then, no messing around, straight into answering the question on the one hand. So on the one hand, let me answer the question. Discuss whether indirect tax uh, is the most effective way of reducing the consumption of sugary drinks. On the one hand, here's why indirect tax is a very good policy. Discuss whether uh, greater exports than imports will always benefit the UK economy or will improve UK macroeconomic performance. On the one hand, here's how greater exports than imports are likely to benefit UK macroeconomic performance. Right? So you answer the question on the one hand and you do that in serious depth. Depth of analysis. Remember these chains of analysis? AQA love these chains. They keep using it in their mark schemes all the time. So chains of analysis, depth, 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 depth. Will you include a diagram? Probably. Depends on the question, but probably if you have a diagram to back up whatever you're saying in theory here, then use a diagram. Make sure you refer to it and use it to powerfully help answer the question. So depth of analysis, really important. You're then looking for application. Application should be throughout your on the one hand points here. Throughout. Always look to apply. That could be your own knowledge. That could be what's in the extract material. Use it. Apply throughout. Don't lump it on at the end of a paragraph. Don't lump it on right at the end of your essay or whatever. Throughout. Yeah, throughout. But also, now this is key. AQA examiners want you to evaluate throughout your essay. Not in one big chunk in an essay. No, no, no throughout your essay. That's how you hit the highest marks. So whenever you're making your points, you're looking to evaluate. At this stage, guys, let me tell you, I have made a video, the link is right above me here, where I talk about how to write a good paragraph, a solid paragraph. And a good paragraph will have all of these things running through it. So watch that video of how to write a really good paragraph. So if you have a point to make on the one hand, how do you write that paragraph? Watch that video. What is evaluation? I've covered that. Now that's a very important uh, video I've made there. So again, the link is up above and also in the description below. Watch that video as to what evaluation is. Then you know what you're doing. Instead of just you knowing the word, you know how to evaluate when you're making your points on the one hand. Right? Evaluation is very simple. You're looking at um, dissecting the assumptions you might have made in your theoretical analysis, which may not hold in the real world. You're looking at winners and losers, right? who are the stakeholders that are going to benefit the most, who are going to lose out the most. You're looking at weighing up your points, either using evidence in the extract material, using your own knowledge. Okay, weighing up points is good. Um, and you are looking at time frame, short run, long run time frames, and the impacts in short run, long run. Right? So I cover that in real detail in that video. So really, really watch that to make sure you can nail what evaluation is. 
and you can nail how to write a good paragraph on the one hand. The number of points depends on the question, all right? So look at the question and that will tell you what key points are relevant on the one hand. Make sure that you're always answering that question. Stay to what the question is asking. Don't move off and diverge. Then, on the other hand, you do exactly the same process on the other hand. That's what to do. Exactly the same process. You still got to answer the question. So again, indirect tax to solve um, overconsumption of sugary drinks. You say, on the one hand, here's why it's useful. You make all your points. Fantastic evaluation throughout. Great. On the other hand, here are some reasons why indirect tax is not the most effective way in reducing consumption of sugar, of sugary drinks. Sorry. On the other hand, here's why an increase in consumption may not always increase economic growth in the UK economy. On the other hand, here's why greater exports and imports may not always improve UK macroeconomic performance. All right. So you're looking on the other hand. You're looking at the other side of the argument. But how you need to write, again, we're looking at depth of analysis, chains, 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 depth always. You're looking at application again, as I've just mentioned. You're looking at evaluation again, as I've just mentioned. So you're writing similar kinds of paragraphs, now just on the other hand, still answering the question though. Really, really important. Actually very simple, as long as you know your stuff. Then you come to your judgment. And again, guys, I've made a separate video on how to write a judgment. Why have I done all these separate videos? Because they are so important, they deserve their own time and dedication towards them. So, um, otherwise, if I did it all in one video, it would be too long a video. So I've kept it simple for you to chunk it out. Watch my video on how to make a really good judgment. This is super important, guys, in your 25 marker. Uh, the difference between, you know, maybe 20 and 25 could well be your judgment. So important you to really, really nail the essay and to kind of round off the essay in a really good way, to leave a good impression in the mind of the examiner. So go and watch my video on how to make a good judgment. But here, you're looking at, you know, I would say at least half a page, half a page, three quarters of a page, that kind of quantity you're looking at really, um, if you're going to make a good judgment. Now obviously quantity is not what you're focusing on, but to nail the quality of the judgment, you're looking at at least half a page, three quarters of a page. And that means leaving yourself at least five minutes um, to get this judgment right. So remember, at least 35 minutes you have to write this 25 marker, preferably 40 minutes. At least five minutes of that time should be in writing an amazing judgment. Watch my video for you to nail that. So that's how you write a 25 marker. That's a structure when you're looking at discussing one policy or one thing. Thanks for watching, guys. Watch my next video to see a different kind of 25 marker that can come up in the structure that you need to follow to nail that question. See you then. Thanks for watching.